Okay guys, today we're gonna start with some basic positional ideas or strategical ideas and uh, we're gonna read this article from Natalia, Natalia Pogonina Good and bad pieces, really important topic and uh, without further ado, let's start reading So each piece has its relative value and during the game it may vary depending on what position the piece occupies and what role it plays. So the, uh, the, the value is relative and when you when a piece uh, is uh, when, you, when you put the piece on a really good square for it uh, for that piece because every piece has different right squares then that piece becomes much much better and uh, if you wanna have a really good position you have to, to put all of your pieces on a good squares so in general she's uh, giving some advice for every piece where it should be located so the king the good the good king is in the opening and middle game it should be castled and safe, safely protected by the pawns and active in the end game and bad ex, uh, when uh, exposed and uncastled and castled in the opening and middle game and locked out of the game or far away from the main action in the end game okay queen good is active participates in the main action has lots of maneuvering space and bad passive serves as a blocker for a pawn or a target for the opponent's pieces so basically when the queen is blocking a pawn it's not good the best blocker is a knight why because when you put a knight, uh, when you put a queen behind the pawn then that queen can be attacked okay rook good rook is placed on the open files seventh or eighth rank uh, first or second for black and doubled rooks are especially powerful bad no open files and maneuvering space bishop good they're they're, they're open di diagonals attack attacks both flanks and has a nice shooting range and bad limited in maneuvering blocked by pawns okay about knight good placed on on key squares example in the center or near the opponent's king for example on f5 if black castles short you have you always try to put the knight on some uh, weak squares of your opponent bad on the rim of the board on the first or eighth rank okay so on the, on the rim on the board and on the first and eighth rank is not really controlling anything important <clears throat> and pawns good controls important squares and can potentially be promoted bad isolated or doubled so controls important squares that means probably you put them in the center so because there are a lot of important squares in the center okay so also here it is saying that this is a general advice and it is it very depending on the position but in general this is a really really good advice uh, exceptions could be like sometimes position sacrifice or sacrifices occur that are connected with the dynamic strength of the pieces so basically sometimes you uh, sacrifice a rook for a bishop or a knight uh, in order to obtain higher activity another important point is coordination of the pieces so here it is saying that uh, even if your pieces are active but they are not well coordinated then it's not really good they have to have a common goal and uh, if you have a few fewer pieces than your opponents but they are really really good coordinated then that can can be really powerful okay so one of the main rules of chess is to keep all your pieces in the game except for maybe the king 
and this is really good always ask yourself a simple question are all of my all my pieces happy if not try to improve the placement uh, coordinated pieces are much more powerful than lonely ones okay and rule number two this is also important try to worsen the position of your opponent's pieces hinder their con coordination so basically uh, there are two ways to improve your position to improve the position of pieces or to uh, worsen the position of your opponent's pieces which is equally important so one of the possible approaches is to limit the activity of the pieces and lock them out on one of the flanks while attacking on the other. Create weaknesses in your opponent's camp so that he or she has to guard them, thus limiting the activity of the pieces. So if they have some, some uh, <clears throat> weakness, then uh, all of... Uh, he, uh, his army is gonna be at that guarding that weakness and then you can do some harm at the other side of the board that's also really powerful so that would be it and here uh, she has uh, one example which is I would say a really a uh, little bit complicated so maybe I mean it's not that complicated but it has a lot of stuff here so uh, if you want to go through, through it, go ahead, but I would say that is for this video, it's uh, it's, it's really short article, but really important and uh, keep these things in mind at, uh, at every game of yours. So good luck, thanks for watching, hit that like button, subscribe, and see you in the next video.